Welcome back to sous vide everything guys. Today we're marinating some steaks in alcohol. We have no idea what to expect, but it sounded cool when we were thinking about it. So we're gonna give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get right on to it. Each of these liquors is gonna represent a different country. I try to find the most common and used liquor so I can marinate these steaks and see what it comes out with. As I'm curious to find out what it would taste like. So here's what I got. For Ireland, I tried to find Irish beer, but I couldn't. So I went with Henneken, and this Henneken came from Holland, as you can see. Moonshine for the USA. Jose Cuervo Tequila for Mexico. Whiskey for Scotland. For Russia, I was able to find an authentic Russian vodka. For France, I got a red wine. By Ninja's request, Obviously, he's Cuban. We got Bacardi, even though it's from Puerto Rico, but it was originally created in Santiago de Cuba. And from Brazil, what you make caipirinha with, Cachaça 51. Now, because this is strictly for the marinating of the steaks, I am going to be using the best steak in the world, which is picanha. I'm cutting the steaks half inch thick. I'll be seasoning it very simple, which is rock salt. This is all about the alcohol and not about anything else. We're gonna see if any of these alcohols go well together with these steaks. In order to make it easy for me to put the liquor inside of the bag, I used these rib rack and it worked out perfect. From here on, I just added all the liquor to the bags. I labeled individual ones so I wouldn't get confused which ones is which. I'm also running the control test, which has no alcohol on it, just regular rock salt. Here's a tip I'm gonna give you. I use these clips, they're stainless steel. They'll keep your steaks from floating. I know everybody has this problem. I sure did, now I have it no more. All the steaks were marinated overnight in my refrigerator. I'll be cooking these steaks at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. As you can see, these steaks have a little bit of air so they don't go down right away. Watch this, these clips did a fantastic job keeping these steaks all the way down to the bottom. And they were only like seven bucks. If you have this problem, I definitely recommend them. I have no more floating steaks. Now here I'm putting in my control. To keep the control down, I'm using my mini weight. This mini weight is powerful. Watch when I take it out when the steaks are ready. As they came out of the water bath, I just patted them dry really good and seared them. I got a really good sear, watch. they do smell like alcohol I gotta be honest and uh, I mean they look great I have no idea what they're gonna taste like and we're all excited to find out let's cut them open all right they all look great but now we're gonna give them a try we have no idea to expect friends so basically all we're gonna do is I also have my friend here Charlie Juanito all we're gonna do is, since it's too many, we don't have a lot of time, all we're gonna do is give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That's it, friends. Mm. <laughs> Different. Mm -hmm. mm. Up or down? Down. No. Up? You. Mm. Down? Medium? It's medium. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's all try. Down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mouth down. All right. all right, let's go to the next one. What is that? Beer. This one is beer. First one was wine. Yeah. Smells good. Beer's good? Mm -hmm. Beer's good. Let's try beer. 
Oh, that's really good. Come on. Really good. Beer is awesome. Tequila. <laughs> No. Down for me. Get a little dizzy, right? Come on. Tequila. Steak yeah. with tequila, no, no bueno. Brazil. <laughs> Brazil, cachaça. Go for it. Oh. <laughs> Terrible? Ew. <laughs> Bad? Might be worse in France. Ew. Is that a weird aftertaste? That's. That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's really soft, but it's really yeah. bad. Super tender. Wow. Super terrible. Brazil on this one. Oh my god. Terrible. Stick to soccer. Yeah, stick yeah. to soccer. No, 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 no. No, um. Cachaça and the picanha. Oh. Terrible. Scotland. Scotland. Whiskey. 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 Let's go for whiskey. Whiskey. This one is not good it's not, and it's, it's not, not bad. bad. Yeah. You can eat it, but Ooh, I, it I will not yeah, eat I it again. Yeah. After this weird. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Mama? Thumbs down, yeah. Mama. <laughs> okay. Cuba. Yeah. Huh? Bacardi. Mama. I can it's not yeah. bad. No good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Vodka. Russia. Let's go. I feel my blood pressure right now. <laughs> Come on. Really soft. Vodka. Mm -hmm. mm. Really soft. Ooh, Super after tender. Hmm? After taste. Yeah. Mm. What? Is it? Ew. Mm. After taste, bro. I didn't yeah, it has a little. No, I didn't get that taste. No, like, I like that one. It's really soft, but you right. like you're right. taste dry. <laughs> no, I'm good with that one. Nah, sideways. No. All right, that one hey, was divided. let's go to the star right here. What is that? Moonshine. Moonshine. Impressive. What? Oh yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Moonshine. Yeah, moonshine and <laughs> moonshine and beer. And beer. Wow, moonshine is pretty good. Moonshine and beer. Alright, so let's give it our final scores. If we had to do this again and eat it again, I say the beer win. First, second. Yep. Yep, there you go. And all these, don't try it at home. No. <laughs> the, <laughs> the wine. Give it another go. Yeah, give it a try. Now that we taste it worse, you're right. <laughs> it's not so bad. <laughs> not too bad. All right, so let's let 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 let's make a winner here. No, that's a winner. No, that's a winner. Uh -huh. that's, that's a, a winner. winner. Hold on. Moonshine is good, bro. Oh yeah. That's done. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Which one is this one? Here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm? Beer. Oh. Let me try moonshine. Beer. 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 Bad. No bad at all. Oh. The moonshine is good. Yeah. The beer is softer. The beer is softer. Yeah. Alright, the verdict. Beer is the best. What beer are you using? Heineken. Heineken. Oh, mm -hmm. that's not Irish. I could not find Irish beer. All right, this one is the um, the control. This one has nothing. So let's see. Mm, huh. Better die <laughs> memories on you. Ma? Okay. Oh. No need to mix the picanha with anything. This is the best. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> no, no mixing, guys. No. <laughs> Don't mix your alcohol, guys. It's not necessary. Just plain is the best, nothing better than that. But if you did have to mix it, go with the beer. Guys, we've been eating it. This is the control. <laughs> and that was the moonshine. It sucks. Tell them about the moonshine. Yeah, it sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> it sucks. It's terrible. Oh. Mm. Only the beer is kind of okay. 
I mean, don't mix your alcohol with the steaks. Take it apart. Oh, with a piece of this. And you drink. And, and you a drink. beer. Oh. Yeah. That's the way. Better. That's the way to go. This was a total disaster. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. My advice is do not mix alcohol with your steaks. Stick with your nice, plain salt, pepper. You'll have a much better experience. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a good experiment. If you like the videos, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe for future videos. If you're interested in anything that I've used, everything in the description below. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.